Rush It. Yeah. You see the guitar that was used by Steve Jones on the album Sex Pistols, yeah. never mind the bollocks. Wow. In the studio, that's the guitar he used for recording all the songs. All the songs, yeah. It's not the wireless pole. The wireless pole was there, yeah. but the photos of Steve Jones in the studio with the headphones on yeah. playing guitar for the album is using this 57 Les Paul Custom. Oh. So this is the sound of... Yeah. That is the guitar you hear on the album. How did you find this one? Oh, it's a really long story, but it was in a shop yeah. in London. Uh, I couldn't go. I couldn't go to the shop when he first appeared for sale. Mm -hmm. I had to go to a wedding. So I thought, oh shit, I, I probably missed it. <laughs> and I, the following day, I picked up the phone and I found the shop. The guitar was in the window. Yeah. Uh, it was not in central London, but I went there immediately. And it was still in the window when I saw, when I got to the shop, it was still in the front window. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just walked in, I couldn't care less of the price. I just gotta buy it. I know, <laughs> I know what guitar it is. This is a Sex Pistol. This is the one from the album. And I got pictures to prove it. And even the serial number, was the number 3142? I said, that's, I got photos of Steve Jones with that guitar. It's the one on the album. It's not the white lace ball. Everybody thinks it's a white lace ball, but... Yeah, I, I thought, yeah, too. Yeah, everybody does, because you see most pictures of him. But you, the, the photos of, I can't remember the year, it's probably 1977, when, when the, the pistol went in the studio recording. Yeah. There's only three guys in the room and nobody was there. Nobody knew the Sex Pistol. Yeah. There was no photographer. Yeah. But there was one Japanese photographer that was there, a friend of Steve Jones, and he was taking pictures around the room. And there's about 10 pictures of that session mm -hmm. where you can see Steve Jones with his guitar, with a headphone, and Johnny Rotten is there, the drummer is there, and there's only three guys there recording the album. Mm -hmm. And this is the only guitar. The wireless pole is also on those pictures, yeah. but it's on the floor mm -hmm. behind, behind yeah. Steve Jones. It's not being used. So some of my friends at Pistol is fun. They believe uh, the wireless pole was used. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an interesting story for them. The, the fact is that if you research on the internet pictures of the Sex Pistol, you're going to see a lot of pictures with Steve Jones with the wireless pole. Yeah. But it's not the one on the album. For, look for pictures of the Sex Pistol at the recording studio, at Wessex Studios, mm -hmm. when they were recording the album and the guys actually working with the headphones. headphones. The drummer, Johnny Rotten, and uh, there's no bass player because uh, at that time there was only three guys in the band. Yeah. Uh, the first bass player was no longer in the band, and Steve and Sid Bishop was not in the band yet. So Steve Jones played bass and guitar. I think he played both. Yeah, he played both for the album. So that's why people say, listen to the album and say, "Wow, the bass and guitar sound really, really tight together." Yeah. Of course, it's the same person. The same person. <laughs> the same person playing the, the they're playing the same stuff together. Yeah. Whatever they're playing, I, I, I can't. But, so this is the guitar, and this guitar, the wireless ball is the one that came from the New York Dolls, mm -hmm. but it was only used for live and videos and promotion shot, and, uh, and and live. There's a lot of photos of Steve Jones using this Les Paul live uh, in the in the last tour when they play in America. Steve Jones is using this all the time. Yeah. And Steve Jones is a great guitar player. And he he knew that this was a really good quality guitar from 1957. Yeah. So he didn't throw it around. He didn't damage. He didn't break. He didn't change anything. He did. At one time there was a sticker on it. There was a sticker on this guitar. Mm -hmm. You can just about see it. But he used that guitar, and he's a, he he looked after this guitar. Yeah. It was never broken. It was never repainted. It was never repaired. He still got the original case. Steve Jones, back in 1967, he knew this was a good guitar, so that's why it's on the album. For the tour, he used the white one, yeah. and for the gigs, and when he threw it around, it's also the white one. The white one has a neck break, he had a heel break, yeah. been repainted at the back, there's a lot of changes. 
but uh, not, but this is a fi even in 1977 when the pistol recorded the album uh, this was already a vintage guitar that was yeah. 20 years old yeah and when so he, so this is a really important guitar I have about 10 pictures yeah. of the of the we, of the Wessex recording studios um, yeah. I had to buy them from the photographer because they're oh, exclusive yeah. so they're not online you won't find them I have yeah. them I have some in my book I, I think I put maybe two in the book but I have about 10 or 12 mm -hmm. and you can clearly see this is the same guitar that's a Sex Pistols guitar so a lot of Sex Pistols fans yeah. even the punk from America from uh, from Japan from Europe they always think the white Les Paul is the guitar on yeah. the album. It's not. It's disappointing for them, but <laughs> if you find me a picture of yeah. Steve Jones in the studio with the Les Paul, the white Les Paul, send it to me. You won't find one. Mm. You're not going to find a single one. But then I got about uh, 10 or 12 of those with Steve Jones. And I have a great picture. That, uh, it's in the book where you can see, clearly see the serial number. Uh, I got a picture of Steve Jones playing yeah. well, on stage. Point is yeah, the number. and you can see the number. Yeah. So it's not me inventing a story. Yeah. If you look at a serial number on the photo, I can show you the picture. I've got the picture. You can see clearly see it's correct. That's the serial number of the guitar. And the wireless bow, Steve Jones himself will tell you that he sold four or five of them. Hmm. Every time he needed a bit of cash. He, he got another 74 white Les Paul, yeah. put some stickers on it and sold it. Uh, and he's, he's, there's at least four or five. Mm. And even if it's four or five, it doesn't matter because one is real, yeah. the others are not. And even if it's real, it's not the one on But the no one knows who, which, which one is everybody the thinks, actual Everybody one. thinks, they say, oh, Steve Jones told me he's the real one. Yeah. There is one coming up at auction as supposedly the real one. And um, I'm not going to say if it is or if it's not. I have the real one. Yeah. This is the real thing. So this is the actually only one. In, in that, well, this is the '57 Les Paul Custom. If you had to buy one, it's going to cost you probably thirty thousand pounds, maybe something forty thousand pounds. So Steve Jones not going to buy five or six of them and sell <laughs> them because he's not going to make a profit. Uh, but the white one is, you know, it's a lot easier to copy. Yeah.